Hi, welcome to this video of mine where I will be talking about uh, some solutions that I see, some solutions that I have found that works for me living with uh, schizophrenia. So the point I want to bring across here is that Schizophrenia is a serious illness of mind, obviously. So, uh, the big idea would be that the, pe the person who is schizophrenic should be educated on that particular illness. And in more practical terms, you could say for the individual schizophrenic to be taught and educated about mind. Now, since we don't see that schizophrenic people or manic depressive or whomever are taught properly about mind in hospitals, in schools, wherever, since we don't see that, that means that the doctors and the scientists and the nurses and everybody, the, the shrinks, everybody, are not completely, uh, what shall I say, uh, certain about what it is that they are doing. If they knew for 100% certainty that, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, through the treatment, through the planning, through diagnosing, through the work that the doctors and everybody does uh, concerning, concerning psychiatry today. Obviously, if the doctor knew everything that a doctor needed to know about mental illness, about schizophrenia, then the doctor would more easy, could more easy, could more f flow that information, that knowledge to the schizophrenic, to the patient. If the doctor, if the psychologist, if the, if the shrink knew what the fuck he was talking about, he would teach that no, knowing to the patient. But obviously, since the doctor is not living with himself or herself with these uh, diagnoses, with these symptoms, since the doctor is not living self with these with this illness, with this diagnosis, with this experience, then that means that the doctor does not have a hundred percent understanding of it. Obviously, since we see that so many people are suffering immensely from schizophrenia, from manic depressive, from all sorts of symptoms and you might say concerning illness, of mind, which we all, the grown-up part of the population, is experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis. Meaning, we all have, uh, time-wise, some symptoms of anxiety, of fear, and anxiety and fear might be very, 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 very normal, but it's not sane. Anxiety and fear and doubt, the nervousness may be very normal, and it is extremely normal. But that does not make it sane. Far from it, rather opposite. The fact that it's very normal to be caught up in mind's polarity games of emotions and feelings, the fact that this is very, very normal should be the more alarming to people, to doctors, to everybody. So, back again to the schizophrenic in the hospital. The big idea would be to bring across to the schizophrenic, to the patient, whomever, whatever diagnosis the patient is having, and to bring across to this person what we know of mind, 
What is mine? First, let's start there. What is mine? How do we reckon mind today? How does church and religion view mind, for instance? Such a intricate and delicate and intriguing, uh, common and you know, these patterns that we live with every day that are so normal but are far from sane. So, the big idea would be to teach the schizophrenic, okay, you have an illness of mind, here is what we know about mind, about polarity, about consciousness about subconscious mind, about unconscious mind. This is what we know. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Bring it all up. This is what we do at Destiny in one of the nutshells. So, um, we see that memories within within the human experience is made up of uh, happenings uh, i mean what is governing our reality is is uh, is memories and memories are made up of happenings and happenings are made of words so the big idea would be to teach and educate the schizophrenic on mind so that the schizophrenic could self address the structures of mind that are causing distress. For self as schizophrenic to be able to learn to understand mind, for self to be able to address and heal and pinpoint and understand the structures of mind that are causing distress and symptoms and illness. Can we see the common sense in this? I will say it one more time. We are made of memories and happenings that are that are constituted within words of words. Words make up our happenings or memories that very much direct our living. If we teach to the mental patient about mind, about what we know of mind and metaphysics and what heals, what, what could be healing, then we can learn to the thought of the schizophrenic might be able to address the points, the structures, the components of mind that are causing distress so that we can understand it and change from that pattern, from that feeling, from that emotion, and so on. Because we know that, like the, with the word addiction, memories, memories create our reality. Memories create our reality. Very often we find that. And, you know, um, memories and happenings and events are made out of, out of words. And words are like, is like a dictionary. A dictionary of words that make up um, our happenings, our memories. A dictionary of words. A diction of words. Addicted. So that we become addicted to something else, to drag our attention away from uh, from the from the from the key points. We 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 need something to fix our whatever to escape through addictions. We need to escape in addictions to escape from uh, the trauma, the memory that are made of words. The trauma, the happening, the event that is causing us distress and pain and fear and emotions 
is made up of words. I tell you, it's made of words. Most, uh, it's not made of ever made of words. I mean, even trauma is based on words. Yes, trauma will leave deep, deep wounds and you know dimensions to that. Uh, and to some degree, I reckon that most of us have all suffered from a big, smaller or, or larger degree of trauma. But they are, they are still made out of words. Even though they are deep as fuck and hurtful as hell, they are still words. And if we learn to understand this and to sort of maneuver our way through the beliefs and to sort of see through the beliefs and, and, and you know, learn to know why we have beliefs of mind, for instance, and to see through that and to find the memories, to find the memories, to find the happenings, to find the words that constitute our reality and use words to conquer those words. Like with this, with the matrix, with the matrix capitalistic system, which is obviously a system of hell, a pure hell system. The matrix capitalistic system is a literally a, have have been. It's over now, but pretty soon, but it have been a hell system, uh, a system of hell. Uh, but um, if we can learn to uh, replace the system components of our mind with something else and to forgive the, the, the words, the happenings, the moments, the addictions of mind because all our emotions, all our trauma, all our memory is based in words and if it's based in words I can make words myself like forgiveness, like self-forgiveness to conquer out and to you know, work its way through, through my living, through my changing, and become um, a better self, a healed self. You, it's, it's like you change, take out the words, take out the suffering, take out the energies from the old memories, and replaster it, re rehash it, you re recycle it, sort of, uh, up upcycle it, you upcycle the memories, sort of, to take away the hurt, you take away the drama, and you see it for what it was in clarity, in honesty. And that is what, also, a nutshell of what we do at Destiny, to change ourselves, to change the programs of our past that have been draining us and straining us into. Uh, a lockdown position in mind and um, it is to realize that our memories are sort of like pools that our mind is using our being to suck up these energies from memories then recycle it, recycle the memories and then live it through mind, through action and the point is that these memories, these traumas, these events that happened to us in child, here, in, in child years, in school, whenever it happened to us, those times, those events, those memories are made of words. Yes, they might be traumatic or energetic and all that, but they are still words and words we can work with. Words we can work with, my friend. So, for me to realize that, uh, understand, have a very good understanding of my own mind, schizophrenia and beyond, so that I can bring this awareness, this standing to, uh, to you, my fellow being, and for me to walk, to embrace myself, to forgive myself, and use the words in written, spoken, sounded, self-forgiveness, have been a great life hack, a great, a great key for me 
to, to liberate my soul from mind, uh, both here and both here and everywhere in my, li my life, to, to change my, 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 my game, sort of, totally. Because our memories and happenings are made of words, and if it's made of words, I can be words, I can live words, and since I can live words, since I can be forgiveness, I can, since I can forgive myself, I have the power to change. Since I can forgive myself, I can understand myself, and from that, I have the power to change. Uh, which is something I learned walking with myself, uh, with destiny, through my schizophrenic mind, and now knowing uh, what is what of metaphysics of mind, and being able to find groundedness, to find stability and sanity in the physical sound breath here, rooted, and not always lost in fling flings, commercials, voice in the head, whatever, uh, fake history of mind, and I'm looking forward for all for more people to realize that what is holding us back is is made of words. What can liberate us and set us free is also words to change our actions, to change our patterns, from how we have lived, from from the sins of the fathers and beyond times, from how we have lived, and to realize that we can change, and if we change, the world changes. When I change, the world changes. Thank you.